In this video, I'm going to describe how to draw a blood sample from an arterial line, uh, something that you might see commonly inside the operating room. Uh, why you might do this, maybe you want a pre-op lab that wasn't sent yet, maybe you want to type and screen because the patient needs blood, uh, maybe you just want to measure an arterial blood gas, or maybe you want some intraoperative ISTAT labs. However, before you draw blood from the patient, make sure you consider how much they've lost intraoperatively before you take more. Brief look at the equipment, you have a pressure bag connected to the transducer and the flush, and then you have the arterial line in the patient, as well as the tracing on the monitor. If you want more details on how the pressure bag works, I will not be describing that here. Here's a closer look at a transducer that you might see in the operating room. At the top, you have the IV line to the patient. Um, then you have your stopcock and valve to the outside port. You have your actual transducer with the, with the flush plunger. Um, you have the IV line that goes to the pressure bag, and then you have the line that actually goes to the monitor sending the recording. So here are the steps. If I go through this too quickly, feel free to pause at any point. First, you're going to attach a 10 mil syringe to the stopcock. You're then going to close the valve to the pressure bag, but open to the patient. Um, and a mnemonic a resident told me was towards the plunger uh, means flow to the patient. What you're then going to do is pull back gently on the plunger. First, you're going to see some saline from the arterial line tubing. Then you're going to see some mixed saline and blood from the patient. And then lastly, you should have almost entirely blood. You want to go ahead and take out a full 10 milliliters just to make sure any of the blood that you get is no longer diluted by the saline. Once you are done with drawing the blood, you're going to close the valve by putting it diagonally. This will close it in all directions. And you're going to remove, of, remove and dispose of your syringe. From this point, you're now going to attach your collection syringe. This is the one that'll be used for the lab, for the ISTAT machine, whatever. Um, at this point, you're then going to reopen the valve to the patient gently extract your desired volume. Now close your valve to the side port uh, so this doesn't leak out and then remove your sample. You can do whatever with it that you're planning to do. At this point, you're still gonna have a bit of blood in this little port here and as well as the IV line. So what you're gonna first do is close the valve to the patient, so upwards, and you're gonna gently pull this plunger and flush a few mils of it out onto a four by four gauze, basically just to clean out this little port. At this point, you can then return the, uh, the valve to the neutral position, closing it off to the outside, and then completely flush this line using a plunger um, as all of this line up here will be filled with the patient's blood, and you can return that back to them, leaving it as the normal saline. And that is all.